Hi guys, it's Maaike. I'm back with a design theme card for Kalein Design. I called it Rainbow Card and this is the card I made. I used the Hoorah or Hooray stamp set and I wanted to make a rainbow with hip hip or hip the peep. Uh, there's also a Dutch version of this video um, on my channel as well. And uh, for my rainbow, uh, I'm using a acetate which is getting a bit grimy so um, I couldn't find the other one so I'm still using this one but don't look at that uh, make sure you have a stamping tool because that's very important make sure your card is in the corner and on the edge and these are the colors I omitted the bamboo leaves because it didn't fit so I'm using the grid to put the uh, hurrah and the hip or the hip hip I don't know the, there's a hip hip in there as well hip hip but there's this is hip the peep so I'm not sure what that is in English but um, doesn't really matter it's it's you know for birthdays I'm using the outline hura in the corner and I'm also using my grid of course to make sure it's straight and these are photopolymer stamps so you can look through them and make sure your grid is really aligned well and also putting it very much on the edge of the card you could put it in the middle if you like but I like it in the corner <laughs> and I didn't know at this point if I was going to color it in so I grabbed Versafine but then I thought I'll better use this one if I want to color it in with my markers and it would have been black probably but I kind of like it outlined so I switch back to the Versafine Claire Nocturne ink and I stamp it again just to get a really good black nice and crisp impression and then I'm heat setting it as well because it's Versafine <laughs> you know why and um, <coughs> yeah this is what I do I clean my stamps after I stamp in and then I peel them off and I did that with my heap heap as well and I shouldn't have done that because now it should stay and I made a mistake there so I tried to fix it by looking through it I did that off camera by the way because I couldn't see and I had to go really close with my head in the view and <laughs> in frame and everything and if you want to really be perfect you probably should have started a little bit off the card but I didn't want to I wanted it to be red and then um, we'll see what color ends up but you can start in the middle as well then you have to measure and then you have to move your card two ways up and down and now you only have to you know push it up and this is what is it love letter memento ink I also could have just made the card shorter and just cut off a little bit of the edge to match the lilac posy on the end but I didn't um, think that was a good idea but, you know it's a standard card you can if you want if it really bothers you I tried to match it up because it's see-through and <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I couldn't see if it was really in the right position so I just rolled with it and it's not perfect but and that's why I'm telling you don't peel off your stamp just do what I do like here you can just push your cardstock up and then yeah uh, more it's, it was about two and a half centimeters but I'd still check it if it's in the right position so also the distance is not 100% the same everywhere but you know uh, <laughs> it just doesn't really match anymore does it I uh, will just divert your eyes with my enamel dots later and there's a lot of empty space left that I like that um, the graphic design of it um, if you feel the need you might have washi tape or balloons there's actually a balloon in this set I believe you could stamp that and color it but then you would have to do it on a different panel unless you don't mind your markers go through it so this is where I'm stamping all the colors again the love letter tangelo then the lion pear tart the nube blue grape jelly and lilac posy and you can use any color that you like of course but I think it's festive when it's a rainbow if you do them all in black and then maybe the hurrah in rainbow that would also be really cool 
but um, yeah that's up to you actually <laughs> I like it this way I might do the other one as well and redeem myself with my <laughs> aligning <laughs> I can shoot myself sometimes, see? <laughs> and um, yeah, I almost put my uh, design team logo on top of there, but I thought that was kind of childish. So I left it because you already seen that I've done it and um, I'm, I'm just telling you not to do it. So I hope that's <laughs> enough. And here are my number dots and I'm putting them in the zigzag line. And I do the darkest colors, the biggest and the lightest the smallest the brightest there's a rule uh, that was taught in uh, art school I, I did that in italy but um, my teacher said that yellow uh, compares to red compares to blue like one compares to two compares to three so if you do uh, one square say on graph paper yellow you have to do two of the same size in red and three of blue just to even out the bright yellow but then um i know that rule i just you know i don't care <laughs> you don't have to i mean it's art i don't really care but that's what she said and um that was what was uh 35 years ago or 36 7 well anyway a lifetime ago so the rules might have changed i don't know but <laughs> i'm just trying to fill the, the 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 time here i have many enamel dots i'm just using the plain ones no glitter no matte ones so i'm trying to find the blue one and um that's the card finished as i said you can embellish it a little bit more with balloons or washi tape or whatever you take to your fancy but for now, I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you again next week. Bye.